afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Got another nice travel trailer we're going to review today. And uh, this is a, uh, a, a one for under 20 grand value priced. This is a 2014 Sunset Trail. The model is a 270 BH. And overall length, including the tongue, is 30 feet long. It does have a slide out. Uh, this is a bunkhouse model. It's got the two full-size bunks in the back. So you can sleep a lot of people in this one. It's only 5,300 pounds. So it's something that the majority of half-ton trucks can tow with no problem. And a uh, good-looking camper overall. They Previous owners did remove the front decal. Um, I don't know if it was peeling. They didn't like it. Who knows? But uh, going around it, guys, let's look around. It does have a power awning does have a power tongue jack uh, 30 amp electrical service i'm just running off my generator uh, so i do have the lights fridge on i just don't have the ac on got a big deep super slide 36 inch deep slide and you can see guys the striping and finish looks great does have the uh the door on both sides of the camper and this is your uh, bathroom in the back so kind of nice to Kids need to duck in, use the bathroom. They don't have to track up the camper. Does have the Blackwater flush hookup. Spare tire on the back. Does have an outdoor kitchen, guys. I cannot really show it because we're so tight right here. Uh, you'll have to take my word for it. It does have a cooktop that slides out. I u't believe it's got a fridge uh, or a place for a fridge, but uh, I'm not gonna try to squeeze through there. It does have stabilizer jacks on the back. You know, no delamination. Got that smooth fiberglass exterior. Six gallon DSI gas electric water heater. You know, these are built by Crossroads RV. These are kind of a higher end travel trailer. And let's look inside. Come out of Georgia. Got the alloy wheels, nitrogen filled tires. I do like the colors in here. Kind of a little darker. But, uh, you know, hey, difference good. Got the crowned roof. I do like that. You don't see that on many travel trailers, but it is a higher end camper. Does have a 13,500 ducted AC. And I'm doing these travel trailers in the morning before it gets too hot since I'm running it off my little generator. It can't pull an AC. Uh, two full, these are pretty much full size beds. Uh, 300 pound weight capacity on the top bed. Of course, more on the bottom bed. Um, so you can sleep two kids in each of these, maybe even two adults. Bathroom, of course, decent sized bathroom, sink, RV toilet, stand up shower with a skylight. I do like all the black accents in here. It kind of makes it different. You know, like the uh, lights are all got the black accents, the vents, all that. It just kind of makes it a little different. Eat well, pray often, love always. That's probably something we could all, advice we should all take sometimes. I uh, do have a Norcold RV refrigerator freezer that runs off propane or electric. I just turned it on a few minutes ago, so not cold yet, but we do guarantee it to work and get operating temperature. Countertops look great. Nothing swollen. No signs of uh, water intrusion anywhere. There's no smoke or pet odors. We do have a three burner stove top and oven, a microwave sink place for a tv i i guess previous owners wanted the tv pretty bad so there you go do have a little flip down sofa and a table booth that makes a bed so you can sleep two four six eight ten people in this camper if you wanted to um front bedroom you've got his and her entrances both of them have solid sliding doors for privacy um or excuse me curtains for privacy you got a queen bed in here 
everything looks good guys uh the tv can swivel so um if you did have a tv in here you can pop this little safety pin right here and i'm trying to do this one-handed and i don't know if i'll be able to or not anyway i'm probably not able to but anyway you can pop that pin this whole mechanism swivels around so if you had a tv in there you could watch it from the bedroom so you don't have to have two separate TVs if you wanted to even put a TV in here, which TV's cheapest thing you can buy for a camper. But nice camper, it's 5,300 pounds. Uh, so it's something that, you know, majority of half ton trucks can tow, always check. Your vehicle's towing capacity, of course, never assume because there's no such thing as a universal half ton towable camper. Every half ton can tow. I've seen half tons that can only tow 4,000 pounds. I've seen half tons that can tow 12,000 pounds and more and everything in between. If you don't know what your vehicle can tow, I do have a very handy um, tow guide. And I'll put a link in the video description below for your convenience so that you can uh, look up what your vehicle can tow if you don't know. And, um, and of course, we can assist you with any kind of safety equipment you need. You always need a brake controller, guys. Um, I always recommend... You know, I'm, I'm one of those guys, I would rather have it than not need it than need it, not have it. So I always recommend pretty much no matter what you tow, weight distribution, bars, and sway control. And we can sell you those at a very reasonable price. Just contact one of my salespeople for a figure. Uh, unless you're not towing, a, I mean, if you're towing like a, an 18-foot camper with a one-ton dually pickup truck, you're good with just a brake controller. But, but again, guys, I would rather be... I'd rather be in, I, you know, I used to, I towed RVs for years, guys, and I was always so against those weight distribution hitch because I always towed with a dually truck. And I said, you know, I always towed on the ball with just a brake control. Oh, you don't need that. You don't need that till one day I towed with one. <laughs> I was hooked. Um, I won't hardly tow one without it, um, even with an oversized truck because the difference between towing with one and without one's night and day. I mean, it's just amazing uh, the difference in the towability towing with one of those. And it's not just a safety factor, it's a comfort factor. So I do definitely recommend pretty much a head and bars and sway control and everything. But now, at my salespeople can give you assistance with that, make some recommendations, can even sell you. We do have some in stock uh, that we can sell you and uh, we can make recommendations based on your vehicle, what you're going to be towing it with. Anyway, guys, this unit is 19.9 for that 19.9 price. We do guarantee the following systems to work, which are the major systems, the stuff that can ruin your camping trip if it doesn't work. Guarantee the slide to work. Guarantee the refrigerator and freezer to get to operating temperature. Guarantee the roof air to get to operating temperature. Guarantee the plumbing systems to work, including uh, the water heater, water pump, uh, faucet, spigots, toilet, things like that. Stuff that can ruin your trip, you know. Uh, as far as what I see, just looking over it, guys, um, I got one light bulb right there that won't come on, so you probably got a blow bulb, two dollar thing at an auto parts store, no big deal, two or three dollar bulb. Um, I think that's really about it. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's more than that, but it's so mi Mickey Mouse and minuscule that I don't even notice it. I mean, we leave the Mickey Mouse stuff to you. We take care of the major stuff if there's anything wrong at all with the major stuff, you know. A, a blown bulb is not going to ruin your camping trip. Uh, you know, if you've got a, a, a drawer that's got a scratch on it, this one, I haven't seen one, but if it does have one, it's not going to ruin your camping trip. Or you've got a drawer that's off track, that's not going to ruin your camping trip. That's little stuff you can fix yourself. We just make sure the major stuff works, guys. And that's how we keep our prices down, by just doing a major systems inspection. If you got a question about that uh, or want more details, we have a form we can actually send you that goes into detail about what we inspect uh, for the price you pay. 19.9 Haggle Free Firm. We do have financing available with approved credit and down payment. If you're interested in that, give us a call at 706-965-7929. And my salespeople can give you the latest information about terms, interest rates, uh, credit eligibility requirements, down payment requirements, and all that stuff. 
I, I gave up trying to keep up with that. Seemed like it changes every week, week and they can keep up with that. We take trade-ins. We have nationwide delivery available for $2 a mile one way if you need it. And um, we have no fees, guys, besides applicable sales tax. That's it. No dock fees, no prep fees. You go rip off world to all these other places, guys. They might add hundreds, if not thousands of dollars in all these crazy names of fees. Uh, happy camper fees and uh, dock fees, prep fees and uh, get ready fees and acquisition fees. And um, you've got customer convenience fees and not too convenient when you got to pay several hundred dollars for a convenience fee. I never understood that. All those fees are just a scam, guys. They're a way to get extra profit by advertising a lower price, but selling it for a higher price in the, by disguising that profit in the form of extra fees. That would be like me selling it for $17.9 with $2,000 worth of dealer fees. Why don't I just price it for $19.9 be done with it? I never understood that, but hey, it, gets, it must work for them because they've got hundreds of locations nationwide and um people fall for it every day but they're all 100 percent profit guys we keep things easy simple and done that's why we've been in business since 1968 that's why we sell five to six hundred used rvs a year and got a good selection of travel trailers uh they're about to bring a couple more around right now um variety of floor plans i know the last three or four i've done have been bunk houses but i've got a couple of rear lounge and a rear kitchen in that I hopefully be filming soon. Uh, got another motor home in. I'll be filming later today. Um, so got some neat stuff. You don't want to miss out. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit it. Um, and subscribe to my channel, RVs of Big Bow. I've got some really neat, really cool RVs used. And, you know, heck, you can go anywhere buy a new one. You know, on, only here can you buy used ones for these prices. Let somebody else take that depreciation hit, save yourself a lot of money, get a camper that'll do everything a new one will do for a fraction of the cost, and save you some money. Anyway, guys, if you've got questions, give us a call, 706-965-7929. If you're interested in this camper, give us a call, make sure it's available. Before coming down to look at it, uh, we check the major systems. What we do, guys, is we allow any customer to come down, take a look at it. We'll plug it into shore power or hook a bigger generator to it. Let you do your own inspection. See what works and what doesn't beyond what we inspect. And you can make the decision to buy it or not buy it. Based on that information, or you're more than welcome to hire and encourage to hire a third party inspection service. Get an unbiased opinion on it. Um, the only thing, like again, for 19.9, the only thing we guarantee to work are the major systems, which include the slide out, refrigerator, freezer, roof air, uh, plumbing systems, water heater, water pump, and steps. Um, everything else is sold as is. Of course, power tongue jack, of course. Uh, everything else is sold as is. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's your responsibility to come in and do your due diligence and do your own inspection and or hire somebody to do one for you. Just a few hundred bucks. I mean, you wouldn't buy a house without getting a home inspection. So why, why would an RV be any different? Um, or come look at it yourself, guys. It's not rocket science. I mean, these things are pretty simple. Uh, you know, anybody with that common sense can, can check out a travel trailer. I mean, have to, you know, I mean, it's if the cabinets open up, if there's no soft spots anywhere, no no signs of water intrusion. I mean, it <laughs> if the awning works. I mean, it, it's really not much. You don't really have to have formal training to check out a, a simple travel trailer. Um, just common sense but it's up to you guys either way you want to go I mean I do recommend though because my videos are, and I've said this before and I'm going to say it again these videos are only meant to give you a different perspective and different information than just pictures and a, and, and a few sentences and an ad uh, they were never meant to replace you actually coming down I know this is 2022 everybody wants to take shortcuts skip steps Guys, they are never meant to come down here and looking at these in person. And I know a lot of people buy stuff sight unseen. I do not recommend the general public ever buying an RV sight unseen. A lot of people do. We sell hundreds of these things a year and never even meet the people that buy them. People buy them, they pay for them, they have them delivered sight unseen, they, we never meet them. I appreciate the trust you put in us to do that, but I do not recommend it. I recommend, you know, you don't, these videos do not replace 
walking through one with your own eyes, your own hands, and looking at it yourself. Because everybody has different opinions about what kind of condition a used camper is supposed to be in to be good enough for themselves or their family. So uh, that's why I tell people, always still come look at it. This is just to give you a more in-depth idea of what it is before deciding to come look at it or not. Anyway, guys, thank y'all for watching. Appreciate it. Come out, visit with us. Be glad you did. We got plenty of RVs, got over 100 in stock, more arriving daily. Thanks again, and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.